Hi everyone, so it's been requested that I do a nail storage and collection video. So this is where I keep everything. I have my boxes, then I have my drawers, and then I have some more boxes. I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching. Okay, so in my first drawer here I have my lint-free wipes. These you can get at Sally's. My orange wood sticks. Um, I actually got these at Superdrug. At the back, back there I have some um, cotton buds. And then I've also got these wood sticks with um, files on each end, which can be used to um, clean underneath the nail or um, reach in areas which a file wouldn't normally reach. So they're very useful. Next I have all my implements. So I've got my dropper for my acrylic liquid. I've got my cuticle pisher. I use this for a lot and I also use it sometimes for scooping glitter. I've also got my tip cutters, some nail, cu nail clippers, spoon, this is for when I mix my acrylic and my glitters or something like that. I've got tweezers, scissors, um, some more nail clippers and I've also got my cuticle nippers at the back there. And here I have my files, um, these are in the shape of a boomerang. So one side is 100 grit. And the other side is 180, it's actually the, the other way around, but yeah, so this, this is the 180 and that's the 100 grit. They're very good foils, they're very easy to sanitise and they last quite a long time. This is where I have um, my nail drill. This I got off um, bfbeauty.com, it was around £10, it was really good and it's probably the best investment I've ever made in all my life. It's a really good drill, it's really powerful and it falls down a lot of the acrylic quite quickly. Um, this is just the drill bits that it came with. And then I've got my sanding bands in here. These are the finer grit ones. These are the medium and these ones are the really coarse ones as you can tell. And then I also have some sanding blocks at the back there. I like to keep those for when um, I remove my acrylic nails and then there's still bits of acrylic on there. So they're useful for that. In this next drawer here I have um, a nail art brush, um, my acrylic brush, my dotting tools, some nail art brushes, um, the first um, acrylic brush that I first started off using when I first started doing acrylic nails. Um, I also like to have a fluff brush for removing bits of excess acrylic and then I've also got two nail brushes as well. Okay so this brush here is the first acrylic brush which I started off with. I got this back in September and it's beginning to die, some of the bristles are like coming off as you can see just there. They're like all sticking out. Um, so it's, I've had it since September 2009 and this is from Blush Cosmetics. All of these brushes here I got off eBay and they're a pack of 13 or 15. I can't remember but um, they're my nail art brushes. They're all very good. Um, they were only about 3 or £4. Pounds. I'll put the seller's name on the video. And then I have this brush which I got off Amazon. And it's got a thicker brush on one end, and then it's got a dotting tool on the other. Okay, I haven't actually used this brush yet, but um, I bought some more practice fingers off BF Beauty the other day, and they sent me a free little nail art brush with them, so I think that's quite nice of them. Okay, so these are my dotting tools. Um, each end has different sizes, so you get ten different sizes. Um, these are really quite cheap as well, they're about £3 I think. And they're also from the same seller as my um, these nail art brushes. So I'll, as I said I'll put the um, link to their page on here. And then this is my acrylic brush. It came in a pack of five. So Mia has one and I also gave one to my friend. It's a really good brush, I'll just get it out for you. So this is what the brush looks like. And then the lid actually becomes the handle. 
So in total, including postage and packaging, it's about £7 for five of these brushes. Um, it's a really good brush, I really would recommend it and it's really pretty and I like the way it gets stored as well. So, very good brush. Okay, so in this next drawer I have my nail art stuff. Um, here I have some little butterflies. And these are off eBay. So they just look like that. And they come in this little case which they just open up individually. So it's a good way to store them. And then I have some circle rhinestones in the same type of case. And they come in 12 different colours. So they're circle ones. And then I've got my tinsel glitters. So there's 12 different colours of these. And I use these for mixing in my acrylic. So they're very pretty colours. I'm looking forward to using them as I haven't actually used them yet. So that'll be exciting. And then, last in this drawer, I have my heart rhinestones, which are in the same colours, I think, as the round rhinestones, but you get 12 different colours, so they were all very cheap, but yeah, they were all under £3, so that was very good. Okay, in this next drawer, I have my practice fingers, and so I've got two different types of these. Um, this one is a glue on practice finger, as you can see it's got um, the little tip bit here on the end and that's where you can glue on your um, false nail tip. And these ones are the pushing ones, as you can see there's a little well in there where you can actually push the tip on, up into it. I prefer to use the glue on ones as when you're filing and stuff. Um, the pushing tips seem to come out so they're very frustrating so I find it easy to stick it actually onto the finger and they came in a pack of four off bfbeauty.com um, here I have my find my fruits I'll just open them up for you so this is what they look like so I've got some I don't know what they are <laughs> flowers, apples, watermelons another type of fruit <laughs> um, kiwis, lemons, limes oranges and strawberries I think but I'm not too sure what these two are so if anybody knows then let me know be useful to you know okay um so these came with a little chopping board like this it's a really thin blade and a bit of wood I found it really hard to chop the canes using this as this is really flimsy and it's also really thin so I was really worried about cutting myself so I actually went to Wilkinson's and bought a craft knife. This is about £2 and it comes with lots of different angled blades. So you can choose the um, angled blade which suits you best for um, chopping up your canes. It's quite fiddly but um, they look really good on so it's worth it. <laughs>